and I'm going to make a motion that we contact the DRA immediately and suggest and recommend they do not approve the 352 withdrawal from the undesignated fund balance. Okay, do I'll, I? I'll second that. Jerry, discussion. second. All right. Um, going to lead out the discussion on this one. Okay. <coughs> Before we go that route, I'm just going to interject this. There's too many unknowns on this. Um, as you know, our year is lopsided on expenses. So usually when we get to this time of the year, right, Mike? And you know this, Jerry, and you know this, Michael. Usually when we get to this time of the year, even though we could be at 41%, a lot of times we're not because our heavy spending is in the summer. So um, that's why it's important to me to break down, like I was talking before, what money we've spent in certain areas so that we can look at that to better assess where we are now. Now, first of all, this was, I'm in, a, I'm in an industry that keeps track of this stuff. This was the worst winter on record. It wasn't one of the worst, it was the worst winter on record. And we did have some very big expenses attached to it. Having said that, if it was a very expensive year, we spent years putting money in for a rainy day, all right, and building up $5 million for the times when we needed to use it. And if the worst winter on record isn't one of those times, I don't know what is. All right, that's part of me saying that. The problem that I have with the rest of it is that I don't believe there was any itemization given last night. Mr. Bean, was there an itemization for the 352000 It came down to 352000 something and 18 cents. So I'm assuming that it wasn't a rough number. It was an exact number compiled from it, a list. It of was, and, and I don't know if folks had a chance to read that, but it was a, a, compa a comparison and contrast between prior years that were uh, quote, normal, and then years that weren't. I would just draw attention to uh, Director Pulliam's uh, uh, 11 uh, June report on pages 10 and 11. Highway and streets is over target at basically 60% spent. This is primarily due to snow and ice removal costs, which are currently at 305%. Well, so. I'm, I, I don't know because on that, I'm not sure, was any part of that money, the money spent to surface and fix the potholes on Exeter Road? I, I, don't, I don't have the breakdown on that, Madam Chair. Well, that's what I'm talking about, is that I think before we can start picking things apart, uh, it would be nice to have a breakdown of what that 352000 plus um, was, was made up of. Yes, ma'am. The other thing, too, though, wasn't this tied in some way to where the president did declare an emergency yes. well, and we were going to get reimbursed for the first storm. For one, the first one of storm. the three. Mm -hmm. And wasn't somehow something like we were going to trade Peter to pay Paul type so of thing? The next question would be knowing that one of the storms was declared mm. um, and would be covered, do we know how much coverage that dollar amount is that we asked for for that storm or what we can anticipate getting? No, ma'am. Uh, and uh, those are good questions. And if you just uh, either email, uh, email the uh, town manager, um, uh, whatever communication platform you want to use, and he can give you that breakdown, you can get it to your committee. Madam oh. Chair? Yes. Yeah, I suggest that what we're talking about here should be addressed to the town manager, not the board of select. We should address that directly with the town manager. No, that's um, not you what know, the selectmen decided. Typically, that's why we have a selectman's rep on this committee, so that we don't have to go and schedule an appointment. We can ask these questions of the selectman's representative, and the selectman's representative can then go back to his board and liaison the questions. I mean, if there's... If it has to be done in writing, I'll take it on and do it in writing, but I want to... I want people to know that is the reason why we have three representatives on this committee. They actually do have a function, and that is to liaison between the committees. 
Now, if they've chosen not to do it, we'll do our job anyway this year. But Michael, you've been in that position. Jerry, you've been in that position. Mm -hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong. The point I'd like to make is the Budget Committee is an elected board just like the Board of Selectmen. We're not answerable to the Board of Selectmen. We're an independent party. Well, yes, we realize that, and we had the seminar last time, Sonny, and thank you for bringing it up. That is the case. What we're trying to do here I is to actually find a way to work with one another. I understand that. And these are valid questions with the budget, all right? This is, this is money that... A lot of the money that went into this fund that we're going to take the money out of, for those of you who were not in the committee at that point in time, came from taking it from the roads and taking it from these other areas that now <coughs> we're having a hard time with. We took a million dollars out of it last year to, re to reduce the tax rate. Now we're looking to take another $352,000. we are getting a little bit too free with this money that was so hard to come by to put into the account. If we spent it, Like I said, when I started this whole thing, all right, we put that money away for a rainy day, the worst winter ever, okay, certainly qualifies for maybe bringing that in, especially in a year that we had a default budget. But what I want to substantiate or see substantiated, did we spend 352 or we just, you, you said, um, Selectman Bean, these are percentages. I think what we'd like to see is an actual accounting that makes up this 362 that would give me a better comfort zone and also how much is anticipated of that money to come back i believe we get 35 percent back from one storm but that may possibly have been the most expensive storm so i don't know what that dollar amount is and if that in fact is coming back to us wouldn't that come out of the 352 if the 352 was actual expenses. So you would have your actual expenses and then what you anticipate getting back from the government and then that perhaps should be the bottom line of what you're looking to take out for funds, not just this number of 352, which I don't see substantiated. Anybody want to comment on that one? No. Jerry? Uh, it, I'm just looking for rationale. Yeah. Me too. And, uh, and I don't want to think of this as whimsical. I want to think of this. Some rational thinking went on. Some analytical thinking went on. Through April, this Department of uh, Public Works budget was 34% uh, spent only through April. I don't know what it is now, Mike. I don't have May. It didn't seem like we were wobbling and going out of orbit. You're right. We're, I'm, I, I heard that we were supposed to be covered 100% by the first storm. I didn't hear about third. The other two mm -hmm. storms we had to bear full cost for, I understand. But I, 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 I just I want to I want to hear something. Yeah, you know, that's the point. I'm looking for rationale, not whimsical uh, sweeps with no analysis. Now you have a motion out here. Are you content to withdraw the motion? Could I ask you to withdraw the motion? Uh, I just like to make a comment before I consider that request. From, I could, okay. Madam Chairman. Here we we just went through a. a looking at and discussing the May results and we found that we're here roughly $50,000 more than we were last year. If you look at that by itself, there's no way you can possibly justify 352 and with Mr. Bean's response to our questions tonight, it's still very difficult for us to see how we can justify mm -hmm. taking that huge chunk of change out and giving them 300000 plus just to play with in the budget. That was the way I looked at it. I could be wrong. That's the way it appears, okay? So my problem with all that is they approved this withdrawal last night. That means tomorrow, maybe today, the request is probably already on the table of the DRA asking for permission to do it. And if they say yes, it's a done deal. So by the time Mr. Bean gets back to us with an explanation, if he ever does, about what this money is spent for, it's going to be too late. So I think we've either got to decide we're going to push it right now with this expediency, or we might as well just forget about it. <clears throat> That's my feeling about it, because it's probably already they probably got the request today. And if we want them to consider not recommending, we have to get a message up to them right away, or it's, it's out, out, already off the table. I agree, with you, I agree with you, Mike. 
I mean, I hate to say that this is an emergency, but it's sort of like when you look at the expenditure in emergency, unexpected emergency and sudden, everybody knew we'd get snow in the wintertime. Everybody knows that. That's not sudden. That's not an unexpected emergency. The only way you can twist that is the amount of snow we got. <coughs> okay? And that's just part of living in New England. You said it was the worst we've ever had. I had less snow piled up in my driveway this year than about 10 years ago. Uh, in fact, you had your front end loader come remove it by my driveway. So that was an accumulation of several storms rather like we had this year. I'm not trying to compare anything. I'm just saying we get snow in the wintertime. Sometimes it's more than we want. But I think if we're going to act on this, we need to act on it with expediency. Otherwise, we're just blowing smoke. And if, if, there's, if there's somebody going to take their time or not give us the answers we want about the 3N52, we're just wasting everybody's time. I just need some more information. Madam Chair, as a practical matter, tabling this motion, given the time emergency that has been imposed on us by the town manager, tabling it is effectively killing it. Because as Mr. Pierce said, I listen to the time argument. is of the essence here. And I, and I agree. Okay, so I agree. let's not table it. <clears throat> so let's at let's this man up and, and vote on it or discuss it and vote on it. All right, discussion continues. Jelen? Maybe as simple as that they don't pay it, they haven't paid the bill. I know that there's POs open throughout the year to take care of their not only their plowing contracts, they just might have paid the bills, which is our manager last night said he paid the bills. Oh, okay, because I know he was keeping track of every invoice for it. It was clear that he had email. already paid the bills. Oh, okay, then maybe Christie has private not paid the fund for the private contractors. He didn't specify. What he did say is Mary Louise objected, saying that the budget committee, according to 32 colon 11, sub item Roman I, specifies that needs to have budget committee majority approval for the request to go to the DRA. And the town manager pointed out Roman numeral 2, which is an exemption to Roman numeral I, which says mm -hmm. not if the money is already expended. Oh, okay. And therefore, the money was already expended. Therefore, he's claiming that exemption, even though Roman number two actually specifies if it's a sudden and unexpected. <clears throat> now, it's not sudden and unexpected to me when you've already paid the bill, and it's now three or four months after the fact. I mean, if it's an emergency, you you react immediately. <clears throat> you don't react three or four months later. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that that doesn't seem to wash no, with me from a legal point of view. No, that answers my question. But I think the problem I'm having report. with it, too, is that I'm not seeing a crisis yet in the budget. We still have a balance of $16 million. Oh, I know. Mm. So I'm not, seeing a, I'm not seeing us at a crisis point, as the percentage that you pointed out, Mike. If we were in maybe October and November looking at a shortfall for the end of the year, I think I'd, I'd feel better about it, and I, I don't think I'm going to feel better about it unless I see an itemization of where it came from to begin with. Um, but if I may, okay. anybody, sure. well, before we go to you again, anybody else on this side? All right, Mike. No, I was just going to say, Mary Louise brought this up last night. Why don't we put it off until later in the season, mm -hmm. like October and November time frame, then you'd have a better picture of what the finances are. Right. I mean, Correct. you suggested that you get busy in the summer with spending, which we do. We spend mm -hmm. a lot of money in the summertime. No argument with it's that. It's disproportionate logic. in the summer. Oh, yeah. It's probably almost half again as much as there's the rest of the time, maybe twice as much. But if you wouldn't be looking at this necessity at this point because you still have a lot of money to carry you forward, maybe not enough to make it to the end of the year. And by the time you get to October, though, or to November, now you can really fine tune and see what you have to make it. Because they always come in and say, well, right now, Mike used to come in and say, right now we have an estimated surplus, um, that's the wrong, wrong word, I don't like that word, uh, we're going to have unspended funds of about two or 300,000. And as we got closer, he could get it more accurate, you know, almost by the day. So I think it's smart, would have been smart in hindsight to wait till later, but we weren't, w this committee was not given that choice. 
So we're in the, we're between a rock and a hard place. Either we're going to think about it and do something, or we're just going to let it slide by and say, well, let's see, there's another 300,000, there's another 400,000, there's a couple of million. Give us another budget that's really two or three million bigger than last year's. I mean, it just can go on and on and on. So I'm saying the budget committee's responsibility is to take a good look at this and see what you want to do. I mean, I always supported the taxpayers, and I still do, and I will until my last breath. Scott, did I see yeah, you? Yeah, the, um, and then Glenn. I, I, I did watch a good piece of the meeting uh, last night. I, I wish I had paid more attention to it now, but, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, there, there was a lot of discussion on, on this point. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't an easy vote mm -hmm. for them. Um, so there was a lot of give and take, and, I, and, and the fellow that was talking, and I don't know who, what his role was, whether that was the town, town manager, but he was, he was saying, look, here's my issue, you know, I, I, I can address it, but the overrun, but I'm going to have to close the transfer station for a few days, I'm going to have to do this and that. He talked about you know, adjusting his expense levels. Now, you know, there didn't seem to be a willingness to, to, to cross departments at that point, you know, or... Uh, you know, take it out of the police department or take the excess out of the fire department. So I, I don't know the, the process, but I know that the process of the selectmen deciding this was, was a pretty extensive discussion. Now, it seems like they've come down on, a, on, on something that, you know, we, we'd rather have them look at their entire budget and, and, and let's try to live within that bottom line number. And if you can't, in September, October, there's still plenty of time right. to take that 300000 If sure. that's our... You know, collective point of view. I, I don't know why it would be at odds with the selectmen. I mean, it seems as though they would have the same, um, the same goal. You know, I mean, it seems like an easy answer to just wait until September or October. I agree. Yeah, you can. Now, let me ask selectman Bean: Is there anything from a time constraint on this money being requested now? That it would not, we would not be able to ask for it under the same criteria in September or October. September, October. That was not discussed last night, and I will incorporate that into one of your information requests. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 we're not. I don't think anybody here is saying no if we need it. It just seems premature at this point in time. Uh, Jim. Just a question on procedure. I'm not. There was a motion made and seconded, and then I thought you said we weren't going to discuss it. We are, though. No, we are discussing oh. it. But So now we are discussing it. Yes, we, we are yeah. discussing okay. it. Yeah. All right. Well, no, because yeah. we started talking, and we said we're not going to discuss it, but here we are. No, there was a motion made. Okay, and, so the and motion's on the floor. Then we looked to see if we would back off that motion, but time being of the essence in this situation, we were, I was trying to ask Mike if he would withdraw it while we asked the questions, but it's going so quickly from where it set out from the selectmen's end okay. last night that it. it's now back on the table. Where we are in the, okay, That's so. where we are. So I'm going to acknowledge you, then Tim and Glenn, and then we'll go back on this side. Okay. I think we need a good discussion on this issue. Okay. Um, then if, if we're going to vote on this, I, uh, I don't have any information hmm. yeah. in front of me to vote on. And... Nobody does. Jim. Well, I, I know, <laughs> and, and, and it, it, it doesn't put us in a good position, and I don't, I don't know why, and I, and I don't even want an answer to my question, <laughs> but I don't know why we seem to be at an adversarial position here, and because I think the loser is going to be the town mm -hmm. if, if, if it continues down a road of, of being in an adversarial position. I think the the end result. We should all be looking for the same end result. I don't care what board we're right. talking about. Um, it doesn't seem that that's what's going on. I don't know, and I'm on the outside of this, and that's where I want to stay right now on the outside of this because I don't want to get involved in the minutia of any type of turf war. But not having the information. And, and I get what everyone's saying, I'm probably going to have to vote against the motion because I'm probably going to have to put, for this time, I'm probably going to have to put my, uh, my confidence with the town manager and the board of selectmen that what they're doing 
is the right decision. That's, that's who our elected official is, and our elected official has appointed the town manager to run the town. But the caveat with that, and not that anyone would care about it, this, this is it, as far as I'm concerned. This will be the last time I do that if I see a continuation of an adversarial position, because at that point it's going to be, the, the message to me is going to be, this is how it's going to be. So then I'm just going to have to say, well, then you know what, we'll just take the position that we'll, you know, we're going to have to do what we have to do. But at this point, I, I think I'd have to side with the, the manager and the selectman, <clears throat> and hopefully something can thaw this craziness that seems to be going on. So that's all I have to say about that. Jim? And Glenn? The, I could just uh, offer again on page. Excuse me, a point of order, Madam Chair. Yeah. I'm not let you after that. It is clear that the town manager has already paid these bills. No one is disputing that, right? So we can have confidence the bills have been paid. He found the money somewhere to pay them. I, I don't know any of that. No, he, he couldn't have paid them if he didn't find the money to pay them with. I mean, it's the same with your, 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 your own checking account. You know, I don't know. Money they they he took know. it out of the operating budget. Hmm. Whatever, he found the money, <laughs> so he paid them. He paid them because he could find the money. Right. I was prepared during the winter storms, as I saw the this. You know, I'm, I'm down the beach and we got we got hit. You know, pretty heavily there. And I saw the DPW's <sighs> work there. Their commendable work, I might add. And uh, I was prepared to having to have to deal with, uh, you know, taking it out of the uh, undesignated fund balance, some amount of money to compensate for the unusual amount of uh, weather we had. Because um, I am, if you guys, some of you guys know, I'm kind of into reading the law, especially the budget law. And uh, I, I do know that, you know, in there it says that, you know, when you need to do that, you can simply ask the DRA to be okay to take money out of the undesign undesignated fund balance for such expenditures. And I also know that the process, and I have the law in front of me here, and I've reaffirmed my knowledge on that point, the process is that the Board of Selectmen decide they wish to do it. They bring it to the Budget Committee, and then the Budget Committee decides, okay, go ahead and do it. The request is sent to the DRA, and the DRA basically is almost a rubber stamp at that point with both boards approving it. Okay? There is an exception to that process, and that exception is if the money has already been paid and it's a sudden unexpected emergency to pay it, then you don't have to go to the budget committee. You can race, the board, board of selectmen can race right to the DRA. So what's happening here is that the race is going to the DRA, but the decision was made to pay this money three or four months after the expense occurred. And it is clear to me that the whole purpose of having paid it first and then asked to go to the DRA, this entire intent of that timing was to cut the budget committee out of the approval process. <coughs> There can be no other explanation for it. It's interesting. Madam Chair. Now, as far as the the, uh, the, the legality of, of the process and how it's being um, perverted, beyond that, I have still been in a position to try to find a way to support uh, this because, again, we did have you know a lot of expenses relative to snow. But when I look at the formula for the rationale that was used for the number, for example, it's clear everyone has said on the Board of Selectmen, Time Manager, et cetera, we're going to get some federal funds and reimbursement. Mm -hmm. Now, there's been some dispute in terms of the messages they've given one meeting versus another about how much will be re reimbursed. But they know some amount will be reimbursed at least one day or at least one storm. But as I heard the rationale last night, that number wasn't even calculated in the formula wasn't even calculated in the formula. So just on that basis alone, they're asking for more than, than the actual cost. This is an opportunity to make more money available to do other things that have nothing to do with the snow. So 
So, yeah, I don't like having to take this vote. Thank you very much, Mr. Pierce, for putting it in our lap. But I know you did, and you're doing the right thing. I appreciate that. And I wish these things were not true. We could just vote, you know, let's, let's let, let them do the process. But I, I can't because of the points that I just made. So I'm going to have to support this, this uh, motion. And I hope that some of the comments that I've just made, Madam Chair, that you will, if the motion passes, you will include those thoughts to the DRA and why they should deny it. There is ample time for them to come to the Budget Committee with rationale. I am prepared to make an approval for an increase or a, re a reduction from the, the, the balance, from the undesignated fund balance. There's time to go through the process. Let's go through the process properly. Let's observe the law. Enough said. All right, Glenn, you had your hand up, and then <coughs> Selectman Bean wanted to address us. Um, yes, um, I'm not quite sure there has to be a that your description of the correct process can still happen. It can. Because Mr. Bean has, accept, has agreed to take this to the Selectman and ask for a breakdown. If we don't get the breakdown, I say we vote. They instructed the town manager last night to send the letter to the DRA, make the request immediately. So that's already there, probably, right at this moment. I doubt it. The DRA. So we need to get a message to the DRA to please <laughs> delay or not do it or something. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure that they act. That's what this motion is. To send hours. a letter to DRA. That's all this motion okay. is. Okay. As soon as possible. Okay. I don't know if as soon as possible is necessary. I doubt if the DRA does anything that quickly. It's just my guess that they're not going to make a decision. Well, I don't want to rely on that, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to select and B. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I just wanted to address uh, in my initial comments, you uh, and, and there were some specifics, and of course we'll get you that uh, uh, through the town manager, uh, a better breakdown on what has actually been paid, who has been paid. Uh, online, uh, on page 11 of 16, I know everyone has read that. Uh, overtime wages for winter. Uh, are $44,765 over budget. Uh, hired equipment for winter, uh, $321,993 over budget. Salts, $22,757 um, is an expenditure. Uh, that Those lines for snow and ice removal alone, according Sounds to like this document. Uh, but we don't know if okay, that is and, in and fact. And I'm just gonna finish, please. Uh, are $330,123, and this is from the finance director. So uh, notwithstanding your, your request for more information and your drill down specifics, um, which is coming, and that email will be copied to you, Madam Chair, uh, the acting town manager, and Chairman Griffin tomorrow morning. Uh, and Please feel free to um, be more specific and email me tonight for any exact information you want. But I did want to point the, uh, Director Pulliam's uh, subtotal for snow and ice removal alone for this winter um, is uh, showing a deficit of $330,123. There it is. And that's on page 11 of 16 of a report that I know you all read. Thank you. Can I give everybody a few minutes to go to 16 and reflect on it? 